Hello, and welcome to Euclidean. I'm still on my little horror spree, still going strong, and I figured I'd play a couple more tonight. This one doesn't seem to be a really traditional horror game in that sense. It's kind of like a Lovecraftian geometric horror, which is kind of funny because uh, I recently played Dagon and remarked on the fact that I had read Dagon and noted down some things and blah blah blah, we talked about that, and that kind of made me check out Lovecraft again, and right now I'm in the middle of reading a story called uh, The Dreams in the Witch House, which basically has to deal with geometric horrors and weird fever dreams and stuff like that, which might be an inspiration for this game, I don't know, kind of a, a fun coincidence, but I don't know much about this game, so we'll see if that's even true at all, but it's that plus kind of that ah uh, game, the one that has like tons of A's and lowercase and uppercase, and it's called either like something about gravity or like for the awesome or I, I can't remember. A game where you're just falling downward and you have to you have to like avoid obstacles and stuff. This is basically that, but with horrors instead. And apparently there's a story and stuff and I don't know. I, I don't know much about it except I've gotten two achievements already just by testing out the uh, the recording. So I have died, and then I have died while recharging phase. We'll get to that, but just just to keep you posted on that. This game actually has a pretty solid. Oh, that's not supposed to be like that. I don't think it actually is 1440, but yeah, like nothing changed for me. It's just kind of confused. But it has a pretty decent options menu with quality settings, which could maybe be a bit more. Uh, customizable but that's fine and language and we have these things whatever you can you can read that that's fine we've got caption stuff and then here we have a difficulty slider and nightmarish is the default but there is hard and hard is the easiest setting and then nightmarish is normal and then impossible is hard so i guess we'll do nightmarish i don't think i want to do permadeath yet and then uh Really good sound sliders. I am loving this. We'll have to see if the uh, the audio is good and all that, as always. But I bumped up the voiceovers a little bit. And there's even a slider for reducing or increasing the flashing brightness. So if things get too annoying and too flashy, we can turn it down. So I'm very impressed by this little, little uh, options menu. This game is like five bucks on Steam or something. I think I got it in a bundle at some point. So with that said... Let's start by looking at this weird moon. Also, I think at any point I can just look away and it'll... Oh, never mind. Okay, that was too late. Uh, if you don't let it go too far, you can look away and, like, stop it. The doorstep. We have to avoid... And press E to face through moving creatures. Everything here will kill you. Good luck. Hello. So, these guys are what killed me when I just tested the recording. I just flew into one. Oh, watch out. I guess you kind of want to stay away from the rocks. If that's where they mostly are. Ooh. Is something happening? I don't know if I'm, like, missing something. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Should I phase? Uh, ah, okay. I was trying to, like, curve around him. Rule of three. That's what I died to, I guess? Interesting. Well, that was a geometric horror. I guess we can just try dying to the, the first one. I didn't see what it said, but it was like something else. So I guess I would want to phase during it. Oh, there we have the triangle dude. During that, you can't just rely on avoiding stuff. But yeah, so if we go towards this rock... Actually, what happens if you just fall into a rock? Ah. Stay away. Oh, another achievement. There we go. What's that? Like, die ten times? Die five times. Yep. There you go. I died three times while testing.
All right. Well, guess we'll make an attempt again. Yeah, so apparently you can press E to shift or phase and then it has to like recharge for a while. Maybe I should test that. So like if I press it now, we're phased for how long? Couple seconds. And then I'm red while it's recharging, I guess. Yeah. Pressing it does nothing right now. Triangle dude. Make sure to watch out for triangle dude. Oh, watch out for these guys. Oh, really? Wow. Okay, the, the hitboxes are kind of hard to tell. I didn't think I was... I guess maybe that was just the rock itself or something. I don't know, but I, I guess I need to phase more. You can't... Oh, you can't phase through solid objects. Avoid them. Okay, I guess I just didn't avoid the rock. Yeah, it is like a, a falling platformer. We're gonna hear that a lot, aren't we? Ooh, that looks cool. What's, what's this, like, gate over here? I don't think I can actually do anything with it. Probably have to stay away, but... Looks neat. Oh, watch out. So, let's phase now. I don't know if that was necessary, but maybe that saved me. Oh god, I'm gonna hit the rocks. Okay, fine for now. Triangle dude. No triangle dude. Oh, better face than sorry. Oh, Jesus! Uh, oh, this guy might just kill me, no? New record! I guess your heartbeat also indicates, like, how close you are to something killing you. So if you're not seeing something, if your heart starts beating really fast, you should just press E. Am I supposed to go to these or avoid them? I don't know if I'm supposed to, like, land in there. This seems like I'm just gonna... Yeah. Beware the deep. I see. Okay. So I guess I hit the bottom. I can almost reach it. Die on a stage floor. Okay, so I was supposed to go in here. Alright. Yeah, it's like a pyramid jellyfish thing. I, I like the design so far. It kind of does the whole, like, incomprehensible geometric shapes that Lovecraft described pretty well. Because, I mean, that's always the difficult thing with adapting horror, or Lovecraft in particular, just... By the nature of how they're written, things are supposed to be incomprehensible and not something you can, like, create, but yet people try anyway, and yeah, this seems like a, a good way to do it. It would kind of be nice if you could turn off the dialogue when you've heard it once, so you would only hear new dialogue or something like that. You remember this not feeling like much of a game? Oh god, I can't read chat while this is going on. Hold on. Probably got a phase here. You didn't stick with it long. Maybe it become Oh Jesus Christ. Become something later. That was kinda of just unfortunate. I had to waste the phase early. You can change the difficulty level at any time. Well, I'm gonna stick with this for now. It doesn't seem too bad. Yeah, I mean, I guess it might not be too much, just fall until the end. But if it has like cool geometric shapes and atmosphere, I think I could like it. I mean, I, I already do like it so far. So I guess we should just try and stay like in the open as much as possible. If I should go right or left, let's go over here. Where is Triangle, dude? Don't see him. I'm gonna need to head over to one of these balls. Oh, Triangle, dude! 
Okay, I think I'm fine. Can I even make it over here? Also, does it matter which one you land on? Maybe these are like gates to different levels or something? Do I have to face? No, okay, there we go. So I guess that's level complete. An achievement, probably? No? The chasm. Oh god, okay. But we would die instantly. Maybe that's like a, a hint that like man-made structures just break when you get near them. So like this, you can just fall through, maybe? Ooh. Yeah, that seems to be true. Whoa, what is that thing? Holy crap. I, it's hard to tell when that's gonna get me or not. Oh god, yeah, it's very hard to tell. Like vultures, they fly. And then the face has a very, very long cooldown, so if I waste it, then I'm probably dead afterwards. I don't know, that might have been too early. Am I just dead now? Yeah, I'm just dead now. Well, okay. Please make it stop. Die ten times? Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess if we need to get, like, die a thousand times, I'm, uh, I'm working on it. Yeah, okay, I guess we need to just wait for another cycle of that. Or maybe I should just, like, go somewhere else. Just go in the middle here or something. Maybe then I'll not be in the direct path. I don't know, it seems like they kind of just home in on me regardless. Yeah, like, that thing looks like it's just gonna hit me. So... Phase now. Nice. Achievement for that. This doesn't seem to trigger my heartbeat, either. So it can be hard to tell when you have to phase. Oh god. Which one's gonna get me? Oh! Jesus! Oh god, there's so much to keep track of! I'm just holding forward and praying. It looks like we're fine. Nice. Okay. Dimension jump. Dodge a roving creature by phasing. Yeah, it's probably a thousand for the, the max death achievement. Uh, not... Not a thousand, it's probably a hundred. The Awakening. A thousand is, like, way too much. But I can imagine there being, like, a die a hundred times thing. I don't even know who I am. Yeah, it's very hard to tell when I should face and not. But visually, this looks real, really cool. I triangle, dude. Oh, what's happening? I think I just wasted that. Don't get me. Oh, dear. Where am I even trying to go?
I mean, not everything here seems to find me irrelevant. There's definitely some of the dudes that clearly try and get me. Holy crap. Well, I, I feel like I'm just getting lucky. I'm just gonna face just for the sake of it. Yeah, okay, good. You played a free game that required you to die like a hundred thousand times. Yeah, some achievements, some games just have those types of achievements that are just ridiculous. Hello, triangle dude. For the sake of it, the cage. And it's just expanding with like new types of creatures every time. Yeah, now there's some weird snowflake thing down there. Holy crap. That's probably true. Hi, Triangle Dude. Yeah, Triangle Dude just kind of sneaks up on you. I mean, I guess most of them do. Oh, that's some some new new guy. Are we good? I, I guess either one of these orbs is fine. It's just so, so that you don't have to aim for just a single one that you don't have any idea where it would be. The Descent. Hasn't it always been The Descent? It's like a giant spiral staircase. I guess maybe we have to spiral with it. You can't really move very fast though. Oh, maybe I have to go through here, like the broken part? Or just go really close to the center? Oh. I'm holding forward as hard as I can. Oh, but we can't get too close here. Yeah, maybe we are supposed to spiral along with it. Ah, I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, hmm. I was holding forward that entire time. Guess let's just try and spiral with it instead of going to the center. Like, let's go over here. Yeah, okay. I think this is the way to do it. We just have to stay... Close enough to the main pillar to, like, curve around, but not close, too close. Oh, God. I don't know if I needed a face there. Probably not. Also, I wonder why phasing is on E instead of being on, like, left click or right click. Because, I mean, you're not using left click or right click. I wonder if you can, like, go outside that window. I also wonder if each level is actually set. If it's like, depending on the difficulty, is there a specific path to take? Or is it 
a little random. It seems to be set, as far as I can see. So I guess it's kind of a little bit of trial and error, but at least if you find something that works, it, it'll work several times. Or every time, rather. So how long do we have to spiral down here? I didn't stop holding forward, so even when I looked back... Oh boy. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Well, this is a little annoying. Just gonna phase just in case, but no, you can't. Hmm. I mean, I did look up and left a little bit, but like, when I did... I pressed the appropriate keys to keep going in the same direction I was going. If that's like that strict and you just have to have like the perfect racing line the entire time, that's a little weird. I guess I should try and stay even closer to the wall here. Just as close as I can get. And I guess that also means that phasing won't ever be necessary, really. It's just like, in case you need it. Maybe there's always a path you can take. You're spending a lot of time talking to me for someone not worth the effort. I guess I'm just not going to look back. I'm not going to look at anything else that's happening. Just keep holding W. And ignore everything. Oh god. Do I have to phase here? Yeah, I... Hmm. Do I have to face death cubed? Well, there we go. New death message. Hmm. I guess, like, as soon as I hit this part of the stairs, we might as well try and face to see if I can go through and get past. Yeah, at this, at this rate, it almost does seem like maybe just playing on the lowest difficulty would be better just for the like visual experience because I do like the atmosphere and stuff but since it's very slow just replaying every level over and over could probably get quite annoying also wait can't I rebind controls yeah so, can I just like, oh, recenter? Oh, that's VR. I see. So, can I just put this on like left click? No, it does not listen to any uh, mouse uh, inputs. But I guess I can put that on. Nope. I want it on space. Hold on. Put that on like G and then here. Space. Yeah. And then that can be E. Whatever. That seems better to me. Simply not worth the effort. 
Maybe I'm supposed to double back here and go down through there? Should I try that instead? That could be it. Because, like, it seems like it's the same sort of section. We'll go down one section again, and then it'll have this, like, break-off where they're continuously going up and down. So maybe I want to sneak, sneak in here. Yeah, that seems better. And then forward again, maybe? Where am I going? Not sure which direction to go at this point. Let's just keep falling down, I guess. I meant falling straight down. Obviously, we're falling down. This is a very long level. Oh, watch out. That's not gonna get me right. Yeah, good. Those things, like, teleport around. I wonder if they can just, like, teleport, telefrag you. Oh, I see the orbs. Let's hope nothing is in the way. Oh god. Alright, so I guess the secret to that one was just double back after the first, like, set of stairs. Oh god, it's loud. The battle, oh. Are we, like, at the end? Or is it a battle that, la like, I'm just a spectator in, where they're battling each other and I just happen to be flying by? Uh-oh. Right. Phase? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Maybe I didn't need to. And I'm dead. Damn. Do you hear something? What? I guess the sounds they're making? Well, I'm sure there's an achievement for, like, die to each unique geometric thing. So I guess I'm doing that. Let's just try and, like, go a really weird path in the hopes that that's a good thing to do. Maybe then I'll avoid some of the teleportation dudes. Oh god, or maybe not. Do I have to do it? I don't know. Jesus, they are just on me. What the hell? What do I do about that? Let's just fall straight down then. And they're like, they're big enough that you can't face through one. Unless it's like right at the uh, edge of one one of the arms. Maybe I should, like, be aiming towards where one is? Like, let's go over here now? Because he will disappear. Oh god. Maybe? Yeah, let's go, like, over here now. Not too close, though. Oh god. I'm dead. Yeah. I tried to phase, but... Too late. Do you hear something? Yeah, again, it's also kind of hard to tell. Creature paths are easier to see when phasing. Oh, really? That's an interesting tip. All right, let's check that out then. Just phase for, for like the visuals. Are they? I did not see anything.
let's try and like rotate clockwise then. I was going like counterclockwise last time. And I'm probably dead. I don't I don't see any paths when facing. Oh, are we past it? Oh, I'm probably dead here. No? I can't say I understand that hint about, like, the paths being easier to see when you're facing. Can't really run, I'm, I'm falling. Oh god. Ah, oh, damn. Again, yeah, it's very hard to tell when you're about to hit something. Yeah, what do you mean by that? Let's face right away. I don't see anything, like, indicating the path they're gonna take. Maybe they just mean that in general, like, for... The, the snakes and stuff, but for these teleportation dudes, you can't see the path, because they have no path. I mean, they have, but, like, it's teleportation. Yeah, that's... That's the, the way it is, as far as I can tell. And now I'm going counterclockwise again, which was a mistake last time. Yeah, this level isn't very interesting, because it's, like, not much going on, just these tiny hexagons and fall or uh, teleportation dudes. Uh-oh. I see the orbs, but I think we're gonna get some teleportations right in front of me. No? Are we good? Nice, okay. I don't know really what I did differently there. Yeah, I didn't love that level. Felt pretty just arbitrary, random. Not really something you could, like, know and react to. We could check the embrace. We could check the level select as well. There is one of those to see if we, like, how many levels there are. But I guess let's keep going for now. So let's try it now. Like, when I see something, yeah, right here. So phase. I don't know if I could see any paths. Let's do it again. Ah, there we go. Wait, I died? Whoa. It... What did I hit? I guess I hit the wall? Didn't seem like I did. What, what is happening? <laughs> Yeah, honestly, let's let's quit and just check how far through we are. Okay, it's just three more levels. Yeah, so let's let's try and do that. 
You can see the death count as well. Did two of them flawlessly. Doorstep five, but I guess that was mostly just figuring out what the hell was happening. It would be nice if you could, like, control your fall in some way. Not just phasing, but maybe, like, speed up or slow down the way you're falling. But I guess that's what phasing is for. So if we phase now... Oh yeah, we see- ah! We see those things in the wall. That's what killed me last time. So it's like to disincentivize you from going towards the, the sides. We have to go in the center. Yeah. Can you keep your soul safe when you don't even realize it's being eaten away? I do like that though. That's an interesting mechanic that like phasing is what keeps you safe when something goes through you, but also you kind of want to phase even when nothing is around you, so that you can see what you're supposed to avoid later on. Yeah, so we see some paths here. I don't know if I can avoid them. We get, like, too close to the, the wall. God, that's a lot of paths. Uh-oh. Let's try and, like, snake back in this way. Okay, over here looks pretty safe. Famous last words. There's the orb. Phase again, just for safety. Yeah, looks like we're good. This was probably my favorite level so far. This one felt really cool. The visuals were good, it was a neat mechanic with like, those polyp things being invisible unless you phased. And also like, you could actually make use of the, the phasing to see the paths. So you could actually react to things and plan accordingly. Yeah, that was really good. Two more. The Snarl. Big boy. Holy shit. I'm gonna... Yep. <laughs> okay. Too slow to run. Yep. Oh, is that a hint? Too slow to run. We have to face through them. Maybe I can't avoid these tentacles. It's pretty hard to keep them in view, though. Oh, and I guess that's the, the flashing brightness. Like, each pulse of that. I didn't even realize that, because, yeah, it's not too bad. For me, at least. Like, I don't think this is harmful or anything. It's pretty soft. Uh-oh. I think I'm fine. The ambience is cool in this one. Stay a while and listen. Yeah, this level feels more like the indif indifference that they wanted. Like, oh god. Ah, that may have been too early. Oof, okay. Like, these things are just 
massive and don't seem to care. And they're just moving in like erratic ways. Orb? Can I have an orb? Can't see shit. Yeah, I forgot to uh, bump up the like brightness and stuff on the stream as well. Sometimes I bump up the brightness and contrast and saturation just ever so slightly on stuff. So this might be a bit hard to see. I mean, obviously, but more so than it's supposed to be. Oh, no. I don't know if I need to face there. Still can't see shit. Yeah, in this level it probably wouldn't make any difference. Try face just to like see what's coming up. Let's do it. Yeah. Hopefully I don't get smacked. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. Seriously, wh where's the orb? Can I please have an orb? Looks like there's... Oh, God. Oh, I see the orb. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't... Not now. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Hopefully I can make it over here. I don't want to hit. Oh, don't do it. Don't don't do it. Am I going to hit the floor again? Or are we good? OK, nice. Yeah, that level kind of dragged on a little bit. But it is the second to last. The resolution. Does that mean this doesn't have any horrors at all? And it's just a cinematic one? Maybe? Just fall into the light? Oh! No! Chase the light! Neat. Maybe the horror is the light. You die by the light. Maybe. Yeah, this guy has too much time on his hands.
Oh boy. Well, I guess I kind of missed that re reveal by phasing. Uh oh. Have to phase? No? Just fall. Ooh. There we go. Stage design. Credits. Hooray. Well, I mean, that was pretty neat overall. There were a couple levels that I thought were a little annoying, but overall I like it. Was it all for nothing? Win the game. And we do have other achievements. What do we have to do? Yeah, I, I thought so. Get killed by every creature type in the game. I don't know what I haven't been killed by. Some of those snake things, I think, I didn't die to. I don't know. Die 50 times. Die 25 five times in the same map. Get killed by a gargantuan creature in permadeath mode. Oh god. So like those big blobs. Yeah, that would suck. So you have to like play everything over until that point, win the game with permadeath enabled, avoid every creature type by phasing. Well, I don't think I'm doing those achievements, at least not right now, and honestly this doesn't seem like, oh, look away, seem like the type of game that would be fun to try and like 100%, so I'll probably just leave it at that, but overall I, I like it, especially since I don't know, I got it in some bundle at some point, so I didn't really intentionally pay like a lot for it, but it is just five bucks or something on Steam, and I think it probably goes on sale, and I think it's worth that. I like the, the visuals and stuff, and again, like, trying to m make sense or visualize the incomprehensible geometric horrors of, like, Lovecraft and stuff. It's kind of a cool, cool thing. So I like that. But for today, Let's move on. We'll use this rope to escape.